Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. I recently purchased two fruit trees. These are a lemon and a lime. Now, I thought that I got a Meyer lemon, but I picked something else. And unfortunately, they're not super cold hardy. Where I live, it does sometimes drop below freezing, and this type of lemon and the lime both can't handle that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repot them because when I bought them, they came in smaller pots. So I'm gonna repot them in a little bit larger pots. I'm not gonna go crazy. Then in like a year or two, I'll be able to pot them in something even a little bigger once they grow up much larger. What this is gonna do is allow those roots to expand a little bit more, keep them from being root bound. And I bought the potting mix rather than made my own this time because these are expensive trees and I don't wanna mess up on my, my ratios. So I wanna make sure that it's good stuff that they're growing in. But potting them will allow me to bring them inside during cold weather instead of having them out in my yard. So let's get to it. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so I believe these are 10 inch pots and these are like seven inch pots. So we're just upgrading just a little bit. So here it's a Persian lime is this tree. By the way, I got these for a good deal. They were like $29 or something like that at uh, Costco. And then this one, is a Lisbon lemon. They had Myers as well, and I just, I grabbed the nicest looking one thinking they were all Myers. They weren't, there's a Lisbon, but uh, that's okay. I got two Myers if they make it. So we had a major freeze and you can see these are kinda, they're hurting. Um, they lost all their leaves and just not doing as well as they should, but hopefully they make it. And you know, I do still have two Myers if they, if they come through. I'm seeing some growth right here. This is new growth. So that means at least you can see new growth there, there. So I know that it's alive. I might've lost some of these branches. Like here is turning brown. This whole branch area is all turning brown. I probably need to cut that off. All the tips seem to be starting to turn brown. So I might've lost most of the branches, but it does look like at least I'm getting some other branches coming forth. So I might not get fruit this year, but at least the plant didn't fully die and I'll be able to kind of shape that, maybe cut off all the ones that are dead and get more coming out. <sighs> you know, I'm excited about that new growth. Uh, at least at least I know that the whole plant isn't fully dead because I mean, it got down to 16 degrees, which is just too much and definitely too much for these. These can't really even handle anything below 30. So, and it does get like that here sometimes. It's rare, but it does happen. So being that if I plant it in the ground, anywhere it's not going to live it's just not so let's get to it this is a much deeper pot so i'm going to need to fill up a little bit on the bottom now i don't want this too high i want to leave a little bit of room because i'm going to put some mulch there to be able to kind of keep keep moisture in but i need to fill up and i want it to be about here so i need to fill up uh you know a few inches in the bottom maybe six inches we'll just go ahead and do that So this has some fertilizer in it, but I want to give them a boost since I just transplanted them. I'm going to go ahead and get some granule fertilizer. It does take a couple weeks for that to really kick in. Maybe even longer since it is potting soil and not in the ground. All right, so I got bone meal. This is mostly phosphorus. It's going to help with root development, which we want. Since we're transplanting it, we want those roots to start growing. And then because it's citrus, you actually kind of want a semi-high nitrogen because they are evergreen. So they're always growing green growth. So you kind of need to give it that all the time versus a tree that loses its leaves um, during the flowering stage. After it's grown its leaves, they kind of stop producing leaves. They're focused on growing fruit. So you want to limit the amount of nitrogen, which is blood meal. Blood meal is a lot of nitrogen. So I'm not putting a lot. You can see here half of a handful right in the bottom where the roots will be. And then the blood meal, just a little pinch. Nah, eh, we'll give a little bit more. There we go. Now let's go ahead and see where this is gonna set. All right, I need a little bit more dirt. So you don't wanna yank too hard on the stem here. You just wanna try to work this out without, you don't wanna you know, wiggle it too much and damage the plant. So, All right, there we go. Now, what I'm gonna do is make sure I don't lose any of this potting soil. Hold this over here, break up the bottom a little bit where the roots are. Luckily, 
The roots haven't even fully hit the bottom, so these aren't, this isn't root bound or anything. That's good. Break those up, up a little bit, especially on the side. Keep those from continuing to be root bound. I mean, you don't have to go crazy too much, but you don't want to damage the roots, but you definitely want this broken up. So now I've got this earthworm castings. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. And that doesn't add a whole lot of fertilizer, but it does add the micronutrients and biome to this. Um, so the soil biome is what breaks down the other fertilizers. We're just gonna fill this up along the sides. Might wanna raise this just slightly more and that's okay, we can do that. And then I wanna make sure it's upright. So I'm gonna start, it wants to kinda go sideways a little bit. I'm gonna hold it upright here and then stuff some dirt in the side to just make sure it's packed in there. That'll hold this root where I want it. Let's see, right about there. Push this down, give it some nice soil contact. Make sure that there's no air pockets. I mean, over time it is gonna drop just slightly. All right, so that's in. It's relatively straight up, exactly kind of how I wanted it. Now I'm gonna take this. This is hardwood bark. This is a mulch that I'm gonna put over top and that'll help keep the moisture in. And this is really good stuff, guys. It's, uh, I like this hardwood bark mulch. We're just gonna fill this to the brim with the mulch. Now I say that, I don't necessarily wanna cover right here, so I'm gonna pull this out a little bit. We'll cover around. So I wanna make sure I'm not piling up too much. I'm pulling this away here. I don't wanna pile up too much right around the trunk because that'll hold moisture along the trunk and that'll cause maybe the trunk to rot. We don't want that. We just want it a little bit of this around there, maybe one more scoop. So we'll keep this around the outside. Go around the outside, round the outside, round the outside. So this one, it's a three and a half gallon pot that it was in. And so this is probably roughly around a five gallon. So I didn't step up a whole lot. Uh, I could have just used a five gallon bucket as well. That would work as long as I drilled the holes in. But the nice thing about these is the holes on the side here allow the water to escape out a lot better than holes on the bottom because if you're setting this on the ground, the holes are on the bottom, it can create a suction and keep that from leaking out. So on the side, that, that will keep that from happening. You don't have to set this up on a cinder block or something to keep, keep that from happening. Makes it a little easier. They're not cheap. These things, uh, I got this one at Home Depot, it was like nine bucks, each one of these pots. However, now I've got a small one that I can use for some seedlings and stuff. So right now I've got a couple of pomegranate seedlings that I've been growing from seed um, for my kids. They like doing that kind of stuff and it's fun for them. It'll take a couple years for any of these to produce fruit, but it's a fun little project. And then I can just save this for those when they get a little bit bigger. All right, so this is potted up, it's ready to go. So now if we do get cold temperatures, I can just take this right inside. Let's go ahead and pot up the lemon. Kind of push around, make sure it's not suctioned in there. And that's moving, so now, now I can get this out. All right, so that's got a little bit more root development you can see at the bottom here. The other one had no roots at the bottom, but we definitely want to break this apart, make sure it's not getting root bound. I don't want to go too crazy. We don't want to bust any of those roots. And the bone meal. All right, we need to put a little bit more on top, but now we'll just get those earthworm castings in there. Not a lot, just kind of start it. Kind of gives a little, little bit of that soil biome. Help break down some of that uh, fertilizer that we've got. It's mulch. So I'm gonna give it a quick little light water. Nothing too heavy. That soil was already pretty moist. Just a little bit. So I do have a couple other trees that I have gotten. Well, actually some bushes, some trees. So this is something called a mulberry and they produce something that's similar to a blackberry. They get to be big and they produce a ton of fruit. The problem is those fruit will stain everything that it lands on. So you don't want to put it near a driveway or near cars. 
because um, they drop and it stains everything. However, I've got a big property here and I plan on putting it somewhere out there. I've also got raspberries. I got this at HEB, a little grocery store nearby. I also have blackberry and I've got these two pots. Let's go ahead and transplant these. So here is the raspberry and it looks like I'm going to need quite a bit of dirt, maybe about five inch, six inch of dirt in the bottom. There's one other thing I need to put in this, soil acidifier, because berries tend to like more acidic soil. I'm gonna take a full handful here and break up that a little bit, make sure those roots aren't really sitting right on top of that. Maybe even put a little bit of soil back in there. And now we're also gonna add Sprinkle of the blood meal, sprinkle of the bone meal. All right, so now those earthworm castings, always good to add and get a little bit more soil right on top of those castings. All right, there we go, guys. There's the mulch. It is on top. I might be able to add a little bit more later, but raspberry's done. I am almost out of dirt. I don't have enough, I don't think, for that blackberry, especially since it doesn't really have much dirt in it. It's more of like a bare root kind of system. So I'm going to have to go get another bag of dirt. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.